Hot peppers are becoming increasingly popular and with good reason because they are amazing. Like seriously, peppers are awesome. But how in the name of Darwin did they just get so hot? Hey hotties, Trace here coming at you from D News. The hot pepper industry has grown 40 fold between 1980 and 2011 and 40% in the last decade. Hot peppers are in everything from hot chocolate to mac and cheese. But the hot pepper evolutionarily is kind of more like a tomato or a potato. When it comes to hot peppers, I was raised believing that the spice lived in the seeds, but now there's science. A study from the journal Nature Genetics explores the complete sequence genome of the hot pepper. They picked the hot pepper because of its popularity and its uniqueness, the capsaicin, which gives peppers, its spice, is a fantastic little molecule. In 2006, the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences published a paper discussing how the pepper works, and they learned the gene in the pepper's DNA controlling its spice, capsaicin synthase. This gene plays a role in creating the color, the flavor, and the spice of each pepper, not to mention the lead researcher really likes to eat them. The thing is, where it lives in a pepper has been hotly debated. <laughs> and now, thanks to these two major works of pepper publishing, we know the truth. The genome of the pepper revealed capsaicin synthase only lives in the fruity tissue itself, not in the seeds. And more of that will exist in the placental tissue than anywhere else. The thing is, most chefs, they already kind of knew this information. It's kind of funny. Experience beats research to the punch sometimes. Once a genome is sequenced, scientists can use their knowledge and experience to sift through the history of the organism. With simpler ones, like a fruit, scientists can learn a ton in a very short amount of time. For example, peppers and tomatoes split into separate species about 19.1 million years ago. The pungency in peppers likely peaked around 12.7 million years ago and evolved through unequal duplication of existing genes. Now this probably doesn't affect your sriracha addiction, but it might in the future. Science like this can help pepper growers create more potent and varied peppers. At the moment, farmers would breed a plant and they would grow the peppers, sample and dissect their methods, and then breed two favored groups in attempting to create a new one. Now with the genome sequenced, differences in peppers can be selected specifically, meaning the trial and error of generations of farming is severely lessened. Get a glass of milk ready, cause it's about to get a spicy in here. Are you into spicy? How into it? Come find and share a spicy recipe on our Facebook page or tweet one at us so that we can share it. Make sure you subscribe for more and thanks a lot for watching D News.